If you like strategy games, you probably loved the PC gaming show. So there was quite a lot actually. They, they said there were going to be 30 games, there was a lot more than that. It was actually pretty full on, it was generally not too bad. Um, yeah, it was interesting. There were a fair few modders um, and um, Twitch staff in the chat um, of, of the PC Gamer show. Uh, and despite that, there was, oh, so many memes. Uh, lots of penises being put into it. Lots of we hate Epic Games um, posts. Uh, lots of the N word. There, there was a lot going on in the chat. It was, it was a mess. I'm surprised the mods didn't intervene with it all. But um, yeah, so uh, because there were so many games, I don't remember a lot of them. Um, so it started with Evil Genius 2. I honestly don't remember what it is because they really didn't describe what it was. So I, I'm not going to be able to help you with that one. Um, then there was um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, comes out Q1 2020. Um, yeah, it had sort of like a Dishonored vibe, but vampires, and one of the hosts also mentioned Vampire Puberty. I don't know if that's in the game, but Vampire Puberty. Um, then there was Starnancer, um, build your own space station to survive, graphically looks a bit like a Terraria. Um, so again, it's like a real-time strategy kind of thing, but uh, it looked interesting. Um, Chivalry 2 comes out in 2020. I have no idea what it is. My internet died. Um, <laughs> I believe it's sort of like a, um, uh, an ancient war kind of game. Um, 3D, I think. Um, then there was Mosaic. Um, that was pretty cool. It was a dark, atmospheric adventure game. It kind of reminded me of Inside. Um, in the sort of vibe it was giving me, um, and the, also the people who made Limbo, um, it's the same company, that, they kind of reminded me of that, it's, they didn't make this one, I should mention, but it reminded me of that, so it was, yeah, it was, that was pretty cool. Um, there was uh, a game called Unexplored 2, very pretty art style, uh, basically an explorative, um, I think they said Metroidvania at one point, but I might be mistaken, um, and I think they also mentioned... Um, to a point roguelite, but I don't know how much. But yeah, it, it looks really pretty, worth checking out for sure. And um, then they showed off a Samsung monitor with a bunch of stuff that's under $400. Don't really care. Um, they had a montage of Funcom games. Um, there's Mutant Year Zero, Seed of Evil, Conan Unconquered. Both of them seem like real-time strategy games. And um, then they had Moons of Madness. Um, which is a, a releases around Halloween and is a horror get horror game where there was a tentacle monster nightmare fuel thing. It looked really cool actually. I'm not into horror, but actually I was just like, yeah, well, that could be kind of fun in a I will hate myself kind of a way. Um, then uh, fun. These are still fun com games, by the way. Um, and then there was uh, Conan Chop Chop, which is a roguelite Zelda-ish game with chibi art kind of thing. Um, and, uh, I, I, yeah, they had a developer in, and at one point he said, it's very real. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Like, I said, okay, cool. But, like, it wasn't even like, like, yeah, we've made this game that you've been wanting for. It's real. It's happening. No, it was just like, um, yeah, no, it's a roguelike game. Yeah, no, it's very real. Like, okay, <laughs> sure. Um. There was a game called Last Oasis where you control like a giant mech thing, so it's like a it's like a ship but with legs, mech kind of thing. Um, but there's also ground combat with swords and stuff. They didn't really talk about it, and the trailer didn't fully describe how the gameplay works. But yeah, interesting looking. Um, Planet Full, uh, which is basically another real-time strategy. Uh, cyborg, zombies, and dinosaurs with lasers, if that's your thing. It's pretty rad. Um, there was a uh, zombie army for dead war or something, I don't remember. Uh, zombie Hitler, basically. Um, it's, it's Sniper Elite. It's like a spin-off to that. I forget what it was called. But um, yeah, basically that. Um, you know, I've been writing notes, and I wanted to write out more than I have. But the biggest problem is my phone keeps auto-correcting all of it, so it's not helping. But uh, shout out to Zombie Hitler. Um, there is a game... Um, 
Oh, yeah, this looks rad. Okay, so Remnant from the Ashes comes out August 20th. Um, badass looking huge monster enemies. Uh, co-op action shooter. Basically, Monster Hunter with machine guns. Looked really, really cool. Definitely worth checking out. That was super rad. Um, Griftlands is an Epic Games uh, store exclusive. I think it's an exclusive, at least. Um, and it's interesting. It's like a... It's a card game, um, in the respect that you use cards to battle, um, turn-based battle, uh, with cards, but, um, but it seems like cards are also used to strike up conversation, um, so, like, you, you use a card to say something specific, um, to the person, and that may give you an advantage in your battle, it may not, and I'm guessing that card that you use to initiate the conversation isn't used in the battle afterwards, so it's actually quite an interesting concept, if that's how it works. I quite liked the idea. Um, it's certainly interesting. Um, if you're not into the Epic Game Store, because of various practices they have, it's unfortunate that it might only be going to that, but it still looks really cool. Um, then Planet Zoo, uh, basically, uh, I think it's the same makers of Zoo Tycoon, um, and it looks super, super cute, and it comes out November 5th. Um, so that's really cool. Um, so that's good. Uh, Shenmue, or Shenmue 3 uh, releases November 19th. That's the game that was on Kickstarter, uh, that Sony endorsed, uh, was it four years ago? Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's finally uh, coming out at the end of this year. It's unfortunate that it's coming out like after a bunch of heavy hitters, like Pokemon and Death Stranding and... And the Bundan Star Wars, but hey, it's, it's going to be uh, uh, interesting. Um, Songs of Conquest was a, an adventure strategy game, um, and it had gorgeous pixel art. Uh, looked looked really interesting, looked different from the others, which is pretty cool. Um, Warhammer Vermintide Versus um, is an expansion to Warhammer 2. I, I don't know anything about Warhammer, I apologise. Um, but it's, an, it's a, uh, a new thing. Um, there's a game called Per Aspera, which it, it didn't, it didn't really talk about what it is exactly. Um, so it seems like you can build your own planet to a point. So there's a planet there, but you sort of build what's on the planet. Um, but it didn't really, yeah, it didn't really describe how it works in any way, shape, or form, so I don't know if it's going to be good or not. I, I don't know. I, I can't say. Um, then there was... Oh, Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey comes out August 27th. That's an interesting one. Oh, actually, that's the same day as Astral Chain. Good luck. Um, yeah, no, that's an interesting one. It looks really cool. So it's basically... Um, you play as primates uh, in... I believe they said Africa 10,000 years ago. Uh, and it is, like... Like, you are playing as them and building a life, and it's it's really, it looked really realistic and really, just really cool. Um, so that's, that's, that's nice. Um, that's really nice. Uh, there was a montage of stuff coming to the Epic Store. Um, there were a couple of standout things. They, they didn't, it was literally like two, three seconds per game. Um, but there's a game called What the Golf, where I played it last year at a mix event at E3. Um... And it's really cool, so basically you are... Uh, it looks like a mini-golf course, um, admittedly floating in the air. Um, and it looks like you're about to hit the ball, but whoa, you throw yourself. And yeah, each course is using different items, and it's really cool. It's an interesting game. And there's also Untitled Goose Game. If you don't know what Untitled Goose Game is, uh, I think that's what it's called. Um, look it up. You'll love it. Um, <laughs> there's, uh, there's a game called Auto Chess, but they didn't... Um, they didn't fully explain what it was, um, and bless him, the guy who came over, um, uh, to, uh, talk about it, um, English wasn't his first language, and he had a very thick accent, um, but he was, he was such a, such a sweet man, um, but I didn't fully get what it was he said, so if he did explain it in good detail, I apologise, um, but yeah, um, I was also talking to my friends, so that probably didn't help. Oh my god, this is the standout game of the conference, Chris Tales. So, comes out in 2020, um, there is a demo right now on the Steam store, um, and it's basically saying it is a love letter to past RPGs. It has a 
gorgeous, gorgeous art style, and is basically experiencing the past, present, and future at the same time. So you can be in one or the other, presumably, but you can also have all three on like a split screen, a, a triangle split screen. Looks really cool. I, I don't know exactly how it's going to work in terms of story and gameplay, um, but it looks amazing. Definitely check that out. Um, then there was Val Faris, epic pixel art game, um, basically Contra on crack, but just oh, awesome to watch. Like, really cool, looked super fun. Um, so those two are way up on my list. That was, they made it worth it, watching those two games made this super worth it. Um, Borderlands 3, um, they didn't really show anything new, but they had a guy answering questions, and it got denied by their internet, not mine. Like, the stream sort of cut out at parts, and it was just like, oh dear. Um, <laughs> then there's Maneater. They didn't give a specific release date, but they said before the next game show, so at some point before next June. So let's say May, for example, just as like, hey, that's our last, the, the latest it'll be. Um, but, uh... It's an open world RPG, and you are basically a baby shark working your way up into a giant shark. There's a guy who basically, there's a, there's a shark fisherman who disfigured you as a baby shark, I think. And then you are basically working your way up to kill this man, presumably. But it's like Grand Theft Auto with sharks. And it's, but you're like, you just massacre people, you come out of the water, you do front flips, it was fucking epic. Like, it was really cool, I'm super into that. It's so dumb, I love it. Um, Terraria has a new expansion called Journey's End. I think they said it's the penultimate expansion. I didn't know it was still going, to be honest. I thought Terraria ended a while back, but I've never really played much of it. Um, unfortunately, the trailer cut out halfway through because of their internet, so that's a kind of moment. Oh, this one was interesting. Telling Lies, um, which is, I think, sort of like a spiritual successor to her story. Um... The, uh, the way they sort of described it was like um, watching an NSA hard drive footage to solve a mystery. Um, sort of similar to Night Trap because it is live recorded footage of actual people. Sort of like talking to a phone kind of thing, like a Skype call would be kind of thing. Um, but they've got 10 hours of footage and you basically have to sift through it to work out what what's going on, like, what the threads and the clues are, just like, oh, that's actually fascinating. The fact that they've got ten hours, like, it's really interesting. I, m I imagine it would be really in-depth to sift through that kind of thing. Um, there's a new Warframe expansion called Empyrean. Um, never played Warframe, but that's pretty cool. And they're doing some kind of event uh, July 7th, I think, so if, uh, it's like an hour stream or some description. If you want to see more, you can see it there. Um, Genesis Noir. I have no idea what kind of game this is. It was like it's like a Miles Davies jazz album cover, but also like Vib Ribbon graphics. It was epic looking, but literally there is no way you could work out what kind of game it is from the trailer. It was a mishmash of stuff from the game. Couldn't tell you what's going on, like, it, but it looked awesome. Um, then there was a game called uh, El Ejo. Um, which is spelt E-L, and then a separate word, H-I-J-O, it's uh, Spanish or Mexican. Um, spaghetti Western Vired, stel uh, it's Vired, uh, Spaghetti Western Inspired uh, Stealth Game. Um, sort of like Metal Gear Solid Kid Edition, um, you're playing as this little boy. Um, but I got sort of like eco vibes from it, it looked really, really interesting, graphically beautiful looking little uh, game. And then they, uh, they ended up with... Uh, uh, Baldur's Gate. Um, it is Baldur's Gate. My phone also corrected it to Baldur's Gate. I'm pretty sure it's Baldur's. Um, it, you know, the Dungeons and Dragons uh, game. They showed absolutely nothing. They just uh, uh, talked to it, talked to a guy about it. Uh, he didn't really say much, but it was helpful. Um, the hosts were good for the conference. Um, as I say, lots of games. Um, a lot of it not necessarily for me. Um, but if you love strategy games, like a third of the games were strategy games, but if you're into strategy, that's awesome for you. You, you would love that. Um, there was some really good stuff, as I mentioned. Crystal's um, was really cool. Um, um, Manhunter is nuts. There's, there's a lot, there was a lot of stuff where I'm like, oh, actually, I want to pick that up. So that's cool. There's, like, if I come away thinking, oh, there's five games I'm really going to get into, that's pretty much a win. So, but, yeah, I'm thinking like a five or six out of ten for this one. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't 
wasn't great, but it, yeah, it was just it was solid. But um, yeah, no, I uh, I think it was, it was generally an alright conference. It did last a while. It was nearly two hours long, but yeah, it was it was fun. It was harmless fun. It was just that was good. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, the little review, like this not discussion, but like review and description of what happened. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like, subscribe, share the video around, check out the other E3 reviews. Um, I have a Patreon, a Twitch, a Twitter, and all that jazz in the description if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, that's all from me. I'll see you next time for Ubisoft. Take care. Bye-bye.